coverage you can count on continues. From the home of Super Doppler 8, this is News 8 at 530. I don't know of any other partnership like this in the whole country. Airing it out, the Carlisle community makes a unique effort to keep people informed about the region's failing air quality. The continuing fight for fresh air is the top story tonight on News 8 at 530. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Roach. For years now, the skies over Carlisle have not met federal clean air requirements. Now an environmental group is leading a new effort to help residents keep an eye on what they're breathing in. With more on that, here's News 8's Cumberland County reporter, George Lettuce. Mike Crochet suffers from asthma. Living in the Carlisle region, he already breathes what the EPA calls some of the worst air in the country. I think uh, I find myself thinking a lot more about when I do things. Like play golf or simply go outside. To give residents more power over their play, the Clean Air Board of Central Pennsylvania announced a partnership with the Carlisle Regional Medical Center and the Sentinel newspaper. They purchased an EPA-certified air monitor. It measures the toxic particulate matter that comes from soot and diesel exhaust. Particle pollution is recognized to cause tens of thousands of premature deaths in the United States every year. We recognize that some of those deaths are going to occur here. The new monitor will sit on top of the Sentinel building and give daily real-time readings on the paper's website. Well, it'll give us um, the information we need about when's a good time to go out to exercise, if you want to jog or have a soccer game. It replaces the temporary monitor the state's DEP installed last year. It uses old technology and filters have to be brought to a lab and take months to analyze. This won't end the war on Carlisle's pollution, but the hope is citizens can now be armed with the information to help fight their own battles against it. It does have an impact on your life, definitely, when you can't breathe. In Carlisle, George Lettuce, News 8. That new air monitor that George told us about is expected to be installed before the end of the year. And now to national headlines in his final.